Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use ChatGPT to make an STL file for 3D printing. So, let's get started. All right guys, the first thing we are obviously going to do is head over to ChatGPT. And then next, we are just going to simply copy and paste the prompt I have in the description. And then right here where it says object, we are going to put the object we want to render. So I want to make a benchy boat that has missiles and turrets and an army hat. So I want to make a basically a military style benchy boat. So that's what I'm going to generate with ChatGPT. And then basically this prompt says, create me a high quality 3D model of blank, designed specifically for 3D printing STL generation. And then it just tells you what it should look like, no logos, no textures, and then no background, just pure white, blah, blah, blah. But this basically prompt will make sure that it is the best picture possible so that when we go ahead and generate this image into a 3D model, it is the easiest for the AI to do so. So let's go ahead and generate this Benchy boat and see how it turns out. And then we're going to go ahead and generate that picture into a 3D model. So once this generates, we'll touch back base and see what it looks like and go forward from there. Hey guys, real quick, if you're watching this video, you probably do a lot of 3D printing. If that's you, I'd greatly consider Coax 3D Filament. It's made right here in the USA, prints clean and stays consistent spool after spool. They even offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee, so there's zero risk. So use Austin's Lab for 10% off Coax 3D Filament. But now, back to the video. All right, it rendered and here is what the model looks like. It's almost exactly what we wanted. It's a Benji belt with some missiles, some turrets, and an army hat. It's the not exact, the exact style of an army hat that I wanted. I wanted more of a helmet, but that's fine. We'll use this picture. So we'll go ahead and download it. And now I'm going to show you guys how we can turn this picture into an actual 3D model. So how we can turn this picture into a 3D model is by going to Maker World. It's going to be this website right here, MakerWorld.com. If you do not have an account, I would go ahead and make one because you will need an account for this. But once you go to Maker World, you will get some free Maker Lab credits. So what we can do is go to Maker World and then go to Maker Lab right here. We see we have 70 credits. And with these credits, we can come and scroll over to the image to 3D model tool. So you can see these arrows right here. We can go over and click on the next gen image to 3D model tool. And then what we're going to do is click that chat GPT image that we just downloaded of that Benchy boat. And then we're going to go ahead and click generate. And what this is going to do is generate our image into a 3D model that we can then download as an STL file and of course 3D print. So once this finishes rendering, we're going to go ahead and check it out. All right, here it is all generated. So we have a STL right here and then this will be your 3MF with colors. You can choose just four colors or just no colors at all. But how we can export this is by coming up here to export. It's going to say, hey, we're going to use some credits. That's fine. You get 70 credits for free. It's going to ask you to select a printer and your nozzle size. This doesn't really matter. Hit confirm. And then it's going to load and load. And load and once it's done loading it'll give you an option to export as an STL or 3MF so once it's done loading we'll touch back and I'll show you what I mean all right so it finished loading and here is what I was talking about it gives you an option to download as a STL a 3MF with colors or a GLB with colors 
So also note that your creation can be used for commercial purposes, but if you share them publicly, please credit the image by including the following. So you have to copy and paste this if you want to use it for any commercial purposes or if you share them anywhere publicly. So we're going to go ahead and click right here and download as an STL. Then we'll see you go ahead and we got a download right there. Go ahead and click on that and open it up in our Creality Slicer. And if you couldn't tell, I use an Ender Creality, Ender 3 V3 SE, that is to be specific. But once this slicer opens up with this STL, I'll show you that this is indeed a 3D model STL file ready for 3D printing. All right, and here is my slicer opened up and here is that benchy boat that we made in all its glory. Now this probably won't print without supports, especially because of that dumb little thing it put right there. That's barely even connected to the benchy, that's stupid. But besides that, this is a pretty good looking model that we made with ChatGPT and then uploaded to Maker World's image to 3D generation tool. And this is the finished benchy boat that we got. Now obviously you can tell the 3D model to model whatever you want. You can tell ChatGPT to model whatever you want, whether it's a 3D model of a teddy bear or a coat rack or whatever you want. I bet you it will give you a model of that. So this is just a proof of concept showing you guys that you can indeed use ChatGPT to make you a picture of the 3D model that you are looking for and then using Maker World's image to 3D generations tool to make that very thing. But with all that being said, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Again, this is just a quick video showing you guys how to use ChatGPT to make STL files by making an image with ChatGPT of the file you want to create, of the 3D model you want to create, and then uploading that picture to Maker World's image to 3D model AI generation tool, and then making a 3D model from that image that way. And as you can see, like we just did, it does a pretty good job in making a pretty accurate 3D model of whatever you upload to it. So again, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.